clapping, no? Ah. Oh. So, so you came all the way to see what the Maya and this is what we are doing. Chicken chips, chicken chips. No, no, no. Please, thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Please, you will see. Thank you. Wow. First of all, I just want to say that thank you so much for coming. I intentionally gave a short notice because I was not expecting so many people. But I think I made a worse mistake. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Um, I also want to thank um, Men's Week Hotel for sponsoring this event. So we are not paying anything for this event. So a big shout out to Men's Week Hotel. Secondly, I want to say thank you to Casa Preco, yeah? Casa Preco decided to give us drinks and everything. I think the drinks are outside, so when you, whenever you're going out, try and pick your drink. The water, everything is sponsored by Casa Preco. I want to say a round of applause for Casa Preco. Thank you. <laughs> what am I is here, eh? Hey. <laughs> I feel like I'm the most wanted man, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, we are here to take African content to the next level. Let's go. I keep on telling people that each and everyone can be a content creator. Mm. But it all depends on you. There's nothing special about what am I? Not, absolutely nothing special. Oh. But it all depends on the kind of confidence that you have. See, when I tell people that I'm an introvert, they don't believe it. I'm an introvert, but YouTube made me an extrovert. So sometimes when my introvert personality comes, people think that, no, that's not what I'm like, but no, that's me. But I'm here to tell you that, listen, I don't know how to start, because I feel like if I start talking right now, I'm not going to finish. But let me, I don't know, can we start with questions? Because, I, listen, I, I feel like... The, are we all YouTubers? Yeah. Oh, okay, so that, now let me understand. So we have YouTubers here. What else do we have? Supporters. Supporters. <laughs> <laughs> what, what again do we have in here? We have, we have fans guys. in here. Oh, okay. We have Can I see only my fans there? We have all fans. Oh. Oh. Observers, observers. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, uh, I see you. <laughs> You're a hater. Welcome. <laughs> But do we do we have people who use Facebook in here? Yeah. See, I'm gonna tell you all something. Social media is here to stay. I used to be that guy that whenever I do YouTube videos, people see me to be jobless. But you're never I don't know how to say. I'm gonna say this. You work more than someone who sits in the bank. You work more than anybody who does five to nine, what do you call it? Nine to five. It's just that people have a wrong misconception when it comes to content creation in Africa. Sometimes I look at people because I'm not that guy who wants to show off to you that hey, this is what I have, and no, I'm not interested. But I'm interested in what kind of impact can I make with my YouTube videos. Creating videos is all about your passion. What do you enjoy doing? And whatever you enjoy doing, let it pay you. If it's not paying you, stop it. Am I making sense? Whatever you enjoy doing, yeah? See, I enjoy eating. It's just that my content is not about eating. But if you enjoy eating, just pick up food, eat, record yourself, put it on any social media platform. I was on Twitter recently and somebody said, Facebook doesn't pay. It's paid. <laughs> like, is Sabalo made it? You know Sabalo? Yeah. Sabalo made me late, man. Sabalo is, so, Sabalo is supposed to be around right now. He's one of the people that he's making it big when it comes to Facebook. He has over 6 million followers on Facebook. He's building his houses with just income from Facebook. But yet, 
Some of us sit on Facebook and insult, yeah? <laughs> YouTube is a place that I would say that it changed my life. Because I was born in a village, went to China. First time using a water closet was when I went to China. Because straight from the village, I came to Accra to apply for my visa. I'm a big fan of fried rice, man. How many of you enjoy eating fried rice, man? Because I only used to get fried rice when my mom goes to funeral and uh, birthday parties, weddings, and she brings fried rice. That's when I enjoy eating fried rice. So when I was applying my visa to go abroad, my dad gave me money. When I got here, it was fried rice every day. Because I don't get a chance to eat fried rice. So I just want to tell you, whatever passion that you have, bring it on camera. You might be a doctor. Do you know how many people want to sit home and know the kind of medication that they need to use? Make money out of it. I would love to know yeah, each and everyone's passion, but I feel like there are too many people today. See, I want to ask five people a question. Why 